Hello friends, welcome to jQuery tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the filter function. So the selector can be a function as well. Previously to the dollar function we specified a string. You can also yeah, you can also use a function. So the selector can be a function. jQuery provides a function called filter. Using that you can perform the drum traversal and filter. This function helps in traversing the DOM tree in finding the searched node. Right? This function means a filter function. Filter function can take a selector string or the filter function can take a function as an argument. There are two ways a filter can, function can work based on the parameter you pass. You can pass a selector string or you can pass a function as well. When we use a function, we can validate the selection by returning true or false. Right? A filter function for that you can pass your customized function and when that function returns true, the element will be picked in the drum tree. means the function will be called for every DOM element and based on the return value the node will be picked. So in our previous examples we saw the array of elements right. So for each found element the filter function will be called and the filter function will examine the passed in uh, element and it will return true or based true or false based on the examination of the parcel in element. So when it returns true then the element will be picked by the filter function. Now we will use it first with a selector string and in the next video we will use a function. There are two ways we can use the filter function right. You can pass a string or you can pass a function to the filter function as an argument. Now here in this video we will use it with a selector string. That means here we are dealing with the first approach. We have an unordered list with the sub list element having italics. You can see that here we have ul right and then we have set of list inside that unordered list and some of the list elements are having italic tag in it and these italic tags are highlighted you can see it and some list element is having more than one italic tag right the css class mark it will set the background color to dark khaki so we have the CSS also and in that we specify a class as the rule, right? Then in the style we are stating background color as dark khaki. So you can apply this class to any element and the element background will be set to dark khaki. In the jQuery dollar $li filters all list elements in the HTML document. So you know this dollar is the jQuery function and when you pass list it will pick all these list and it will be kept in an JavaScript array. Here you can see the very first filter or the very first call to this jQuery will filter all the list element. Next, we are chaining the filter function. In this example, 
the filter function in this example takes a selector and further filters the list element if you see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 element will be returned by the initial filter dollar li right on that nine filtered element we are applying the filter function that's what here we are stating the filter function in this example takes a selector right this is the selector and further filters the list elements the sudo this is the extension the sudo colon nth child is taking 4n to filter every fourth element like 4 8 12 right here it is a array right it's a nine element array right so here we are passing nth child four factor four n that means every fourth element will be picked this will be picked right you can see how we are applying the filter first li will filter all the list then i mean this is dollar li then dot filter and the child will pick every uh, fourth element that means after the filter we will be getting two elements that is shown here finally we apply the market css rule to the finalized filtered elements right so these two elements are picked fourth and eighth element and to that we are applying the market css class so what happens these two elements will be marked with the dark cocky that's all here now we will go to the demo Here we are creating the HTML. This is the CSS file, and we have the JavaScript file as well. So, as already stated we have the html file ready and we have some list elements in it then we will place market css rule here finally we have the javascript function which uses the filter right now we will execute it and you will see the result and if you see since we use the filter function uh, nth child and 4n so this is the fourth element and this one is the eighth element and uh, these two elements are added with uh, dark khaki class i mean the mark market class so if you see this is the entire body and you all inside that you can see the element 4 right that is marked with the class market then this is also marked with the market so we use the filter function with a string to mark these two elements that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye